MT1000A Network Master Pro 100GB Ethernet Monitor Generate Setup. Showing the instrument setup should only be done once the customer has seen how easy it is to complete a test, get results and produce a PDF report from a pre-configured test stored in the Favorites menu. Switch the tester on so it boots up while you're working on the instrument. This will prevent the customer from thinking that the instrument takes a long time to boot. In fact, the MT1000A completes the process from initial switch on to testing and provides results in under three minutes. Some competitor instrument can take as long as seven minutes or more to get to the same point. Prepare the instrument to demonstrate a 100 gig monitor generate test using either the CFP4 or QSFP28 port. Make sure that both the transceiver and fiber end faces are properly cleaned, then connect a fiber or loop back device between transmit and receive of the chosen port. The first screen you will see is the application's selector screen. Explain that most of the icons have a left white side and a grey right side with the plus OTN label. This allows an immediate visual choice whether to run tests on pure client signals or on client signals mapped into OTN. With your finger, not the stylus provided, press the left hand side of the Ethernet BERT icon. Both the CFP4 and QSFP28 transceivers are located into channel 1 sockets. At this stage, you can select any port 1 from the setup screen, then press Accept. There are two sections to complete in order to set up a test. First, the instrument setup screens, then the test screens to define the specific test conditions required. The MT1000A GUI makes it extremely easy to proceed in the sequence of setups without forgetting anything. Simply move from left to right, following the top buttons, simply touching only the ones which apply to your test setup. You can move between these sections by touching on Setup or Test at the bottom of the screen. Or you can navigate between the sections by touching the left and right arrowed paddles on either side of the bottom of the screen. To configure the instrument setup, first make sure the port button is highlighted, then select the appropriate transceiver using the drop-down open by touching the arrow button. In the stream settings, you can select the service type from the drop-down list provided. In this case, we will use IP version 4 over Ethernet. Make sure that the MAC and IP source and destination addresses are the same for loopback. The Network Master Pro supports multi-stream tests, up to 16 simultaneous streams. Under Stream Profile, pull out the Stream tab and switch Stream 1, 2 and 3 on. Note how the Stream number on the tab changes as you select the stream. From here, you can choose the service type, data, video or voice. Choose data and make sure that the constant line load option is checked. Enter a rate of 99988.0 megabit per second. Switch to stream measurements and check all three measurement setup boxes. Pull out the stream tab and select stream 2. Open the stream profile page and choose a traffic type to video and from the encoding drop down select HDTV MPEG4. Note how the line load has automatically been set to 10.5 megabit per second. Then set the measurements as you did for stream 1. Now move to stream 3, stream profile. Change the traffic type to voice and from the encoding drop down select voice over IP G.711. 
In this case, the line load is automatically set to 0.1 megabit per second. Then, set the measurements as you did for stream 1 and 2. Start the traffic by pressing the traffic light icon and start the test. Note that the display moves to the results screen and that all indications are green, showing that an error-free condition is met. Explain the summary screen and how the large dials provide an easy-to-see condition of the network traffic. Select Statistics. Explain how results are recorded periodically, in this case every 5 seconds. The user can choose the results interval. Show how the display is changed to show the total, current and back time recorded results. The statistics in view correspond to the category selected. The user can change the viewed statistics at any time by selecting the category from the drop-down. Select Ethernet multi-stream latency. Because we selected the relevant measurement in the setup, the latency for all three streams are measured. Minimum, maximum and average values are shown. Switch category to Ethernet PCS. You will need to scroll down the viewed categories to view unselected. The Network Master can stimulate, monitor and measure network alarms and errors. Pull out the first tab to the right-hand side of the display and set up. Ethernet PCS alarms errors. Check errors and set destination to BIP error. Insertion to burst. and PCS burst length to 100. Note, the error insert icon changes to yellow. Close the tab and press the error insert icon.